Bob Goodwin's wait for a sofa has been anything but relaxing. He ordered a $5,000 double recliner in October. Six months later, the company has disappeared, and so has his money. When I went for one of my usual uh, treks up to the store to have my regular chat with the staff there, uh, only to find that the whole showroom had been vacated. Dozens of similar stories are detailed online. The ABC hasn't been able to contact the Custom Sofa Centre. Its phones are disconnected. The closure comes just months after Melbourne brand Brosa fell into voluntary administration late last year. Kogan has bought the assets. Both sold imported furniture. The Furniture Industry Association says it's facing similar issues as other troubled sectors. You can't buy a car without waiting 12 months for it. Um, we have similar delays with furniture. Downstream effects of a cost of living crisis are adding to the crunch. A bunch of retail exposed companies starting to talk about slower demand, slower conditions in their shops. The ACCC says consumers can be left out of pocket when companies go bust, with secured creditors like banks and suppliers prioritised under Australian insolvency laws. But it says people can try and get their money back by contacting their bank. Bob Goodwin has a long, uncomfortable wait ahead. If they can't deliver it, they should refund the money. Um, but um, I don't hold a great deal of hope that that's going to happen. Jemima Burt, ABC News, Brisbane.